way to start the day. What's up guys, Supercar Blondie here at Ugati, at their headquarters here in Molsheim. We have got a real treat for you today. Let's go in. Check this out guys. This is the craziest car you will ever see. Promise you. It's the Bugatti Vision GT. Take a look at this. This car was designed for the game Gran Turismo and it came out just before the Chiron. All right, now let's talk through this beauty of a car with none other but the director of design, Ahim. Come on over. <laughs> It's really, yeah, it's really actually quite tall. Oh, nice to see you, man. Thanks so much for joining nice us. See you again, uh, So we're going to talk through the Vision GT. This is something that you and your team worked on yeah. a few years ago now. Yeah. Um, when did it come out? 14, I believe. Just one year before we launched the actual Chiron. So about five years ago. Yeah. And this was to give people a bit of a taste for what was to come? Yeah. Also brings back memories, I have to say, to that team that you mentioned. This was Sasha Silipano, Etienne Salome, and Frank Heil. Different team that than you speak have. Later. Yeah. yeah, Frank's here still. Oh, Frank is still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this really speaks the heart uh, of that team, being more of a motorsport-driven um, exercise. What we could do if we would go racing with the Chiron, right? And then modifying also the monocoque and the lower car and much more aerodynamic efficiency. Uh, but it was at the same time uh, a preview of main stylistic elements that were about to come and to be seen on the Chiron. In the Chiron, right? Okay. So the Chiron wasn't yet out, guys. When this launched, this was before anyone had ever seen a Chiron. Take me around the car. So what are you most proud of? Why don't we get Frank? <laughs> so, you know, Frank's just so waiting on the sidelines over here. Come, Come on. on over, Frank. Frank. Everyone knows Frank. Hey, oh my god, now we've got two awesome people from Bugatti design team. Oh, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're running away already. Yeah, taking the easy route. Like I know, right? Yeah, he just yeah. wants a glass of champagne. He's fine. <laughs> Let him go off and drink then. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Everyone knows Frank, of course. He is a regular feature on my YouTube channel. Go comment in the comment section if Frank should set up his own YouTube channel. Let's get him on YouTube, guys. Make it happen. No, it's, you're right. You don't have time. You're designing Bugattis. I mean, come on. What better job is there? it was really important to establish the main themes that the Chiron then later on brought into right. the series. I mean, look, the, this, this is very Chiron here, right? So it's the what first we time see. we introduced this round Bugatti line. Yeah. It's, it's the first time we also talk about center line accentuation in this way. Yeah. Horseshoe, obviously. And then iconic on the Chiron is the taillight, right? This single beam yes. taillight. First car to have this. The design looks so insane, Frank, that I'm wondering, is it just for looks or is everything on this car actually for function? Well, this car was meant to go into the PlayStation game Vision Gran Turismo. Right. right? So it, it, it is meant to be on a track. It is our dream track car, let's say. Yeah. So it's all about downforce. It's okay. all about lap times and it's, it's on slick tires. Right? But then I ask you this, okay? You've just, Bugatti has just beaten the world speed record on a track, but in another car. And it looks completely different from this one. Which one is meant to be the faster, more aerodynamic car? Yeah, that's that's absolutely that's a good question actually, because so this car is about cornering. Okay. So you want downforce to press the car down. On the speed record car, it was all about drag. Okay. So avoiding any kind of wing. Right. That's why even the wing stays in on the world record car. And so on this, we have this crazy wing on yeah. the rear, creating a lot of downforce. Actually, the center of fin is an is the actuator for the air brake that even comes up when you brake. And then on the front. See that here. Yeah. Yeah. On the front, you have some crazy dive planes as well, all kind of motorsports parts that yeah. went onto this. Even with the hinges that you can pull in, in case of an emergency, you 
can take the whole door out, right? Okay. So that was all meant for racing and especially racing in Le Mans. So there's a long straight in Le Mans as yeah. well. So it, this is about top speed as well. It is. And, uh, But so this one you wouldn't have done the world record in. No, no. Too much wing for that. Too much wing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is bit. actually such a term as too much wing. Yeah, <laughs> like this. <laughs> There you yeah. go. I think it, it just has such a presence but it, and it's such a beast of a car. But at the same time, it's really elegant. Yeah. It's beautiful, yeah. really. You see here, we've pushed in the body side yeah. at the root of the A-pillar. Yeah. So the actual door shut line doesn't go all the way down because it's all structure. Yeah. And so only this part of the door actually opens. Oh. You see? Oh yeah. And oh, it's a little one. Yeah. And if you, if you take if, a look at this. If you have a look this. inside here, this tunnel comes, Goes all the way comes from, from the, the front. front. So everything that we, that we have from the front, we take in through that tunnel to the sides. Wow, you guys. So this is inside the Vision GT. Look at that. Wow. But this display screen, I mean, I've just never seen anything like that either. What was the idea behind that? I mean, the shape, the, the, the way that it's kind of, it, it's like a little cave with the top there. Yeah, so all the rear view for this car is being calculated from three cameras, two on the sides, one in the center fin on the rear. Yeah real-time calculated into one image that you see on your screen so you don't have to actually even turn your head just you have it all right there and there was a proximity alert for other cars that try to approach from the yeah. rear that shows you in the display where they are how far they are away and so on. wow so that was the idea with that so display you, yeah. that's very cool. you, you see this hatch here yeah this is also for emergency so if let's say hopefully it never happens yeah. but if there was an accident yeah and the door would be jammed or yeah. anything you could you could uh, take the driver out through wow. the well. and why don't you do that for any of your other track focus because cars? The, no because this is a real race car right this okay. is trying to be a real race car and also it was important to us if we go into vision grand turismo which is a virtual race okay but we still wanted to make it as realistic as possible right. Wow, <laughs> can't believe I'm sitting in this thing. I've got this steering wheel here, fully cut off. I've never seen this in a car before, this setup. It's got a brand new engine in it. W16, eight litre with around 1500 horsepower. We've been rained out. It came down so quickly. Frank and I were interrupted. Uh, we wanted to talk about the car a little bit more. What we're going to do is go track down the car once it's left Molsheim, go spend some time with the owner and get the keys and do what we wanted to do today, which is turn it on, look inside, and show you around the car and maybe drive it. Maybe. Let's see what we can do. Thank you very much, Frank, as usual. Give the video a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to my account if you haven't yet joined the Supercar Bondi family and we'll see someone else in the world. Probably Bye. with Frank. Bye. <laughs>